fuck. You see, I don't check the clock, and then that went over by like 11 seconds. So, so three weeks go by. Three fucking weeks go by. Charlie makes a phone call to me. We talk for a little bit. Oh, we're working on it. Don't worry, or something. That one's gone, or we're working on it, or fucking something. Blah, blah, blah. We'll still be in touch. Okay, we're going to be in touch. Okay. The whole time, I'm going up to, like I said, whoever I can trust, whoever I think I can trust, and letting them know something is not right about this. Nobody's listening. Not one fucking person listened. All they kept saying was, I heard you're joining. You'll do good. We have faith in you. You'll do good. We'll have faith in you. And I'm thinking in my fucking head, like, is everybody fucking retarded at this point in time? I'm trying to tell you something I don't even know how to fucking talk to people about, honestly. But I was trying to fucking tell people, like, there's a possible person in danger and, you know, this and that. Really, I didn't even I don't even remember getting to that point. It was just like everybody that fucking I tried to speak to, they would just kept kept telling me. But even before I had a chance to speak, they were like, "Oh, I heard you're joining. You'll do okay. You'll do good. You'll do good. You'll be alright." Okay. All right. All right. So anyway, 3 weeks go by, and now there is a van uh parked out. I get another phone call. It's happening right now. I get a phone call. I get into a fucking van that comes, pulls up. <coughs> I think maybe I drove my car to my friend's house. I don't remember. You know what? I don't even. I just know that that from the point of either my house or the fucking or I drove the car to the friend's house and then they picked me up. No, they picked me up in front of my fucking house. So the bottom line is that they come pick me up in front of my fucking house with the fucking van, with the van, okay? Now there's two guys inside the van, okay? One in the driver's seat, one in the passenger seat, and there's Charlie, okay? And I get in and fucking, it's like, oh, it's happening. And I'm like, oh, okay, where, 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 where are we going? What, what are we doing? Blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about all that. Blah, blah, blah. Now, as we're driving, I'm fucking nervous as fuck. Like, I don't think my hands could have been more sweaty. All right? Like, fucking, like, at all in life. And I'm sitting there, and I'm saying to my fucking self, like, I could feel the drips of sweat coming off my hands. Like, that's insanity. All right? Um, what's interesting is as, as I'm like, oh, yeah, blah, blah. We're going to make you into this. We're going to make you into a boss. Nah, nigga. And I'm thinking in my head, like, okay, I'm like, well, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, what if I don't do this? The one person that was in the passenger seat turns around and says, well, then we'll just kill you. The other guy that was driving turns around and says, fucking, you can't tell him that. Oh, man. Yo. So now I'm driving to a place where I don't know where I'm going, where there is a possible kid in danger of being fucking destroyed, okay? With two what looks like pretty decently big people, okay? Actually, the other one was kind of smallish, but it looked like he had a couple coats on, but the other one looked pretty big with a couple coats on. I'm thinking because of other stories and interesting shit, they just had a bunch. Doesn't matter. They still looked pretty big. And then there was also Charlie. So now I'm going to a place where I don't even know if there's more people. Okay. Nobody's listening to me, man. Nobody is fucking listening to me at this point. My own fucking family. Nobody. Nobody. Friends. Teachers. Nobody is listening to what I am now doing. Okay. Okay. They bring me to this building, and we get out, and I am fucking nervous as fuck, okay? Especially after what was just said to me, like, because uh, I, I was like, oh, uh, yeah, after that was said, I was like, oh, yeah, no, definitely, I'm definitely going to do this, oh, yeah, I'm all in, fucking let's go, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I, I'm fucking, I am 
unbelievably, at this point in time, I'm thinking, I might have to kill these people. Is a thought going through my fucking head, or I'm going to be killed by these people. Or is there another, any other fucking way if I can figure it out once I'm there? We go to a building. We get in the building. I see that there's a long hallway this way, a long hallway that way, and a hallway a little off center from the fucking front door that's leading straight. And fucking, they lock the door behind me. I take a look at the door. I'm saying to my fucking self, this is bad. Because it's not like it was like a standing up glass door. It had a bar in the middle. So this would be very, very fucking difficult, okay? Um, With my first plan, which was grab the kid and run as fast as my fucking fat ass, halfway fucking in shape. Actually, I was in pretty decent shape, even though I was a little bit chunky, all right? Could fucking possibly go, all right, and figure it out from there. But this is now fucking doors locked. There is a bar. So if I was to try to run through the fucking door, okay, I would have to dive through the fucking door Holding the fucking kid. This could end up bad for breaking the kid's neck. This could end up bad for multiple fucking reasons. As they're saying, okay, okay, you know, they're talking to me and I'm trying to figure all this shit out. How the fuck do I get out of this place? This fucking... And is there more people in this building? Okay? Because there's already three versus me. Yo, so they have the door locked. I already see the option of trying to bust through the door as possibly not an option, okay? They're telling me to wait, and then they fucking bring me into a room, and they sit me down. Now, at this point, I don't know how old this kid might be, okay? My age, actually, even that, like, fucking, you know what? Let me back that up just for a minute there. I had, because I'm thinking of the aftermath, like, once I realized how big the kid was, like, you know what? It doesn't matter. I could have busted through the door if... That's what I'm saying. Like, all that shit that I just said, even though that went through my head, like, I was not thinking of what... Because I thought that the thing that they would have brought into the room might have had legs, okay, to run with me, all right? I did not expect what happened next, okay? And this is why I'm so sorry that my fucking brain, like, tears once in a fucking blue moon over this bullshit... And I start thinking, yo, you know, like, if I did this... No, 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 no. I thought that they would bring something possibly close to being able to fucking run with me. Okay? I get set in a room, and I'm sitting there, and I'm trying not to show that my fucking hands are sweating. Profusely. Okay? I am trying to fucking figure out what the fuck to do, why I'm trying to play it as cool as possible with these people. Thinking still that killing them might have to be an option if they try to kill me. We're at nine minutes, so I will clip this right now because I'll make more right now, okay? But I'm saying like that, so that is what is now... I am trying to figure out what to fucking do, okay?